We're on the night shift again. It's just after two o'clock and Brian's with me. What's your job on the night shift, Brian? I drive a recovery truck. Right, and have you got a job you're going to at the moment? Yeah, we're looking for a Fiat Chroma. Right, what's wrong with it? The clutch is burnt out. Right. And uh, how many jobs have you had tonight? Uh, this is the fourth. Have they all gone quite well? Up till now. <laughs> and do you fix the vehicles or just lift them? Both. This right. is just a straight lift. How do you know this is a straight lift? I mean, is it has to be... told the clutch is burned out. Oh, I see. So the RAC have already come to the vehicle. They've failed to fix it. Yeah. And, uh, and so you've been called in. The guy's got recovery on his cards. He certainly has. How many hours have you been working today? Um, started at about 8 this evening. Right, and when will you go off? 8 in the morning. Does that kind of kill your social life? It certainly does. <laughs> Is it worth it or do you get bitter? No, it's not worth it. <laughs> so we're, we know we're in the right area, don't we, Brian? It's around here somewhere. Do we know what colour it is? It's silver. Right. Here's a, a parked vehicle, but that's not, that's not, is it? What's this one in the distance? That's the one in front of it. Are you sure? Do you, oh, do you actually have a registration number? No. No, I so... We don't. Right. Yeah, Chris, um, I found the car. Can you um, find out where the owner is? Yeah, will do. I'll just phone him for you, mate. Cheers, Chris. Thank you, mate. I suppose, I suppose that's not all that important, though, since you know it's, you know it's going to be a lift. You know that's the right vehicle. Well, I suppose you know that, do you? I know. Well, I, I assume it's the right yeah. vehicle, but I don't know where it's going. Right. So I can't do anything till I've got an owner. Right. If the owner has caught a train back to somewhere else and has abandoned his vehicle, um, you, can you still lift it up without him no, being here? his car will stay there and then get removed by the tailway squad. Oh, really? So you, you don't... He certainly you, will. Oh, dear. So I wonder if he knows this. He's just abandoned his car because he's got an appointment somewhere else. Well, he does appear to have. Yeah. Could that be a problem? Well, it could be a problem not for, for me. Not... <laughs> no, because you're looking for another job. It's all right for you, isn't it? Of course. It certainly is. You've got your whole future ahead of you as a poor fellow who's missed an appointment. He thinks his car's being lifted up and taken to somewhere else. How long do you give it normally with a, a thing like this? About 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah. And if they haven't turned up, then we just call a no trace and leave it. Right. right. Yeah, go ahead, Chris. OK, we'll do. I'll get back to you when I'm clear. OK. So what's happening, Brian? Well, we can't find the owner, um, so I'll give it five, ten minutes, leave a note on the windscreen, and Do you want to go that'll and do that now with us? Yeah, I will do, actually. Yeah. So does this happen a lot? Um, fairly regularly. It's a fairly regular occurrence, unfortunately. And why, why do they abandon their vehicles? I mean, they must know that someone's on their way, surely. He's probably in one of the local flats. Um, he's broken down, he knows somebody in the area, so he's just gone to talk oh, to right. someone and... Absolutely. So there's nothing you can do to this vehicle? Absolutely I presume nothing, it's locked, unfortunately. Is it? Can I yeah, check it? Yeah, I would imagine it's so, locked? you can check it. Yeah, it's locked. He's broken his wing mirror. He's left a note. Oh, he's actually... He's broken down. Both AA and the police are informed, and he's also got a parking ticket. So, and uh, he hasn't got, a, he hasn't got a number plate at the front here, and he hasn't got a bumper. Or a bumper. So, do you think he's been involved in an accident then? I he... would imagine so. Yeah. But not here. But you, no weren't, you weren't called for an accident? No. No. No, it's a clutch. Thank you, mate. So, have you left your message? I certainly have. What does it say? Basically, that we've been here, right. the time we've been here, and what to do. So, you've done that then? Certainly have. Time to move on? It certainly is, unfortunately. Yeah. And for us too. See you next time.